The Zacks Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zacks Rank Buys. Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's, and I'm here with two more stocks for your aggressive growth stock radar screen. And this one is, uh, it's a little odd, but this is going to be the Christmas edition. Yeah, who knew? Uh, Christmas uh, edition well in advance of Halloween, but the idea is that uh, you know stores are, are running low on supplies, and uh, the basic word is uh, get out there and do your shopping early, very early, uh, while, while you can, uh, while there is still stuff out there. So uh, I've, I've got two names that that, that you know are going to be impacted possibly a little bit more and a little bit earlier than we would normally see in, in that fourth quarter. Uh, you know, t- people tend to buy these stocks, these retail names, these things like this. Uh, just around this time. So let's take a look at our first one. As you can see, it's it's Sonos. It's S-O-N-O is the ticker. It's a Zach's rank number one, and it has an A for growth and a D for value. And that's that great divergence that I love to see. You know, it, let me see if I can, I, I, I'm really bad with my, with my drawing today. Uh, but a, a strong growth score and a weak value score tells me right away I am on the right path. So let's take a look at what, ooh, 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 that, that, that's a downward trend right there in that chart, but we'll, we'll come back to that later. Uh, but this is that company that gives that immersive sound experience, the Sonos speakers, uh, you know, it gives you that sound bar and uh, all that great stuff that goes along with it. Um, I, don't, I don't have a Sonos, but uh, uh, I, I do, uh, the sound bar really changes the, the sound of coming out of the television and, and, and your phone or, or whatever else when you hook it up to the Bluetooth, okay. Let's roll over and take a look at why we're looking at Sonos. And we're gonna start, of course, with our earnings history. That's the first thing we always look at. You know, are they beating the number? And boy, oh boy, yes, yes, a little beat. Boy, oh boy, and boy, oh boy, big, big beats. Three really big beats, one little small beat right there. Uh, so yes, they are beating the number, great to see. Uh, how are the estimates looking? scroll up that page and we'll see i don't really like that from five cents to seven cents but the zach's rank only cares from 60 days ago so that number is going to be flat look at that next quarter that's that big all important you know fourth quarter thing that's where all the money's made for this company 90 cents holding still uh and then for the year a dollar 11 holding still and a dollar seventeen holding still. Well, I guess there's some ghosts in the machine sometimes. So you'd normally on a Zach's rank one, we would see, um, you know, some increases in estimates. Here we don't see really anything, any moves at all. But uh, maybe there's a move in sentiment. Maybe there's a move in other things. Uh, we see uh, sales growth twenty eight percent. But let's uh, go ahead to our next big slide here, and where we talk about the valuation. Twenty seven times uh, forward earnings. That's a, that's a decent amount, but you can see the most recently posted fifty one percent, fifty two percent top line growth. So uh, I'm going to say it's justified here. Price to book well in advance of that three times that would keep the value investors uh, interested, but still uh, decent here. And then uh, two point four times price to sales. We see operating margins going from eleven to fourteen. I like that. Uh, and this is one of those products that's uh, that's out there that's that's kind of neat. Let's take a look at the chart. And boy, oh boy, um, came public, came down a little bit, beat the number a bunch, had a little struggle, and it was pop up here. Uh, you know, I think that was kind of you know pandemic uh, lows, if you will, there. And then uh, after that, everyone's improving their home and where they live and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, obviously getting better sound in your speakers is part of it, but, uh, I, I like this stock to, to bounce up here and especially with, with this, this fourth quarter, if they have product and availability and it looks like they do, I don't, I would, I would assume that we're going to get back to our highs here on this one. This is good. This is one definitely to keep on your radar screen, a little bit aggressive, but, uh, that's what we're here for. We love aggressive growth stocks. Okay. Our next one is urban outfitters and you are B in is the ticker urban outfitters i don't want you to get confused with legendary ohio state coach urban meyer but uh just like urban meyer this is a zach's rank number one it's a strong buy a for growth 
and B for value. Uh, not, not quite the divergence that I normally see, but uh, good enough. And, and and I'm not doing this because I, I love Urban Meyer because he had great years at, at Ohio State as a coach. I'm doing this because Urban Outfitters is a is a retail play. And again, I think this is one that's going to get pushed forward uh, because of this the early rush for Christmas. They are beating the number right here, 73%. Oh, that's a that's a meat. And a big beat and a, and a good beat there, too. Uh, so uh, a nice average over the last year, just about 100%. I mean, they're just about doubling the number. Let's scroll up and take a look at the estimates. And I'll tell you what, 66 cents, it goes up to 82, then pulls back to 81, but that's still nice. 57 to 68 is great. 238 to 332 is great. 269 to 305 is great. I mean, this is a retailer. You got to keep that in mind. These numbers are, uh, those are those are big estimate moves for a retailer. Woo, look at that. Uh, this, I, I, I saw that number. I was like, wow, someone's, you know, obviously the pandemic, uh, you know, you're going to see a tremendous, tremendous growth in estimates here. But, you know, obviously that was amazing. And then we'll, we'll roll that, we'll put that right in the line there. And that's our, our top line growth for the year. 30% on a retailer. Outstanding numbers. I mean, you don't, you don't see 30% for a lot of retailers uh, a lot. So let's take a look at the valuation. Oh my, look at this. Nine times forward estimates. 1.8 times book. Less than the price of sales. I really don't like that. I want that number to be at one or more which tells me that the market values each incremental dollar of sales that you do have. Uh, here's our sales last quarter, 44% outstanding. Look at this margins. Oh yeah, the operating margins going from break even to five to seven, outstanding, love it. Uh, let's take a look at this chart and then call it a ball game. You know, uh, good numbers here. And, and, and if I look at how the estimates have been here, you know, stock, uh, your pandemic, and then up, and then it's come back in with a little concern here, uh, you know, of everything that's going on. Uh, boy, I, I, I like this name to to have a, have a nice rebound here. And uh, if it posts a solid fourth quarter and talk about an, an extension of the fourth quarter into the first, uh, then you could really have something. And a retail name, uh, you know, obviously your valuation is awfully low. So uh, I think your downside risk on a name like this, you know, I don't think it, I don't think your downside at this point is going to be, you know, 15 bucks. I don't think it revisits the lows. I think your downside is probably right around 25 right now. So your risk reward on this name uh, looks really, really good. Uh, so keep that one in mind. Okay. That's it for me this week. Be sure to like and follow and do all that good stuff that you normally do with all the Zach's videos, but also check out, Zax.com slash promo for all of our promotions. That's it for me this time. This is Brian Boland saying goodbye.